today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable grunt hats. So grab your 4mm crochet hook and let's get started! This is what the final product will look like. To begin, make a magic ring and do 6 single crochets inside the ring. Next, do 2 single crochets in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets. For round 3, we're going to begin by increasing, so do 2 stitches in your first stitch. Feel free to use a stitch marker as um, it is a dark color so it might be hard to tell where you start and stop. So do increase in your first stitch, single crochet in your next stitch, and repeat this pattern of increasing followed by a single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches. For the next round, begin by increasing. You can stick your stick marker in. So two single crochets in the first stitch, then in the next two stitches, do one single crochet in each. You'll end up with a total of 24 single crochets. For the next round, begin by increasing once again. followed by three regular single crochets. Repeat this pattern all the way around for a total of 30 single crochets. That was the bottom of the hat, now we'll move on to the side. Now we're done the base of the hat and we're going to move to the side of it. So to do this we're going to single crochet in the front loop only. So each V, well each stitch is sort of like a V, so you're only going to go into the one half of the V closest to the back of the hat. And you're going to do this all the way around and this will cause the hat to change directions. As you can see now it's started to change direction. So the next round we're going to half double crochet all the way around. So wrap around, go into both loops of your stitch now and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's one half double crochet. Put in your stitch marker, and now we have 29 to go for a total of 30. Again, this is using going through both parts of the stitch, not just half of it. Wrap around, pull through all three loops. And we're gonna do two rounds like this two rounds of half double crochets. Now for our final round, we're going to single crochet all the way around. Of course, we'll end up with 30 stitches once again. This is just to make the hat symmetrical so that it started with a single crochet round and it's also ending with a single crochet round. Now we can end off with a slip stitch and cut a nice long tail so that we can sew the bottom part of the hat to the top part. Now to begin the top part, we're going to begin by chaining 17. Now we're going to do 15 half double crochets to get back to where we started. So wrap around, skip, well, the one you're on you skip and skip one more and then in that, so the, the third one, you're going to poke under half the V and pull through all three stitches. That's one half double crochet. Now we're going to do 14 more. For our next row, we're going to chain one, turn your work so that you see the back of the stitches, wrap around, go under both parts of your V and pull through all three loops. That's one half double crochet. We're going to half double crochet all the way across, so again, a total of 15. And that will give us one more row. We're gonna do a total of 10 additional rows, this one plus nine more, to finish up the top part of our hat. I just finished my 10 additional rows of half double crochet, so now I have 11 rows in total. And to end off, just cut your yarn and pull it through. 
You don't have to do a slip stitch or anything to end. And now we're going to sew in both our ends. So to do that, um, just weave through some of the stitches. And since it's black, you won't really notice where the tail is, but just try and go under some of these stitches, like so. And then feel free to cut your yarn and repeat with the other tail. Now we're going to sew our two pieces together to make our hat. So to do that, what you're going to do is go under, the V has two parts, each stitch looks like a V and it has two parts. So you're gonna go into the outer part of the V, closest to where the outside is, rather than the inner part. So go under half the V, and then you're going to sort of place this in the center and go under a stitch just from the hat base. You're going to continue this all the way around. So what you want to do now is go into the next half loop and then go into a stitch nearby on the square part of our hat. Piece one, piece two, like that. Continue this all the way around until you get about three quarters of the way done. Now before I finish attaching these two parts together, there's still a hole here. What I want to do is make my tassel so I can add it on before I stuff it and close it. So to do that, first you're going to start by cutting with a piece of yellow yarn. Cut a nice long piece. Put that aside. Then what we're going to do is wrap some yarn around your fingers, like so. Wrap it around as many times as you'd like, depending on how many tassels you want or how thick you want your tassels to be. I think that's good. So now I'm just going to cut this here. Now take it off your fingers and cut at one end. Like so. Now what you're going to do is with this long piece that we cut, we're going to wrap it around the middle and tie a double knot. Next, cut another piece of yarn, just a small piece, and we're going to pull all these ends together and wrap it around with a double knot so that it makes it look like that. Make sure that when you're doing this, the strings are all pulled down tightly. That looks good to me. Now do it a double knot. Good. And now what you want to do is, first of all, with these strings, this one's already pointed downwards. You can see it's going down, whereas this one's sticking up. So to fix that, Using your needle, what you're going to do is just poke through here and down out into, so that it'll be pointing downwards underneath the little loop we just made, like so. And now leaving these two strings long, what we're going to do is brush all these strings down and cut so that it's all even, like so and your tassel is complete. Next, we want to attach our tassel to our grad hat. So to do that, just find the center of the grad hat, poke through, and then you'll see these strings come through on the other side, like so. And to secure it, just pick the height you want, right? You want it so that it can hang over. Be like, that looks good to me. And then what you're going to do is tie a knot here so that it doesn't pull out. So wrap around, make a knot like this. See, and just pull it to make sure it's not coming out. And that looks good to me. So now you're ready to just stuff those back inside. And it's stuffing time. So simply 
rip up some stuffing and add it inside your hat. That looks good to me. You don't want to overstuff, but at the same time you want it to keep its shape. Now that it's stuffed, I'm just going to continue weaving through the base and then the top of the hat till I finish and get back to where I started. Once you're fully done, all you want to do is weave back into the top part of your hat, or I guess the bottom part, with the stuffing and poke out into a random spot and you can cut your yarn. Just straighten it out like this to make sure it's flat and your grad hat is complete. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.